The type of home ownership, renter or owner? We own a house. We live in a pastoria. Oh, okay. So I'm going to let you figure out what to do with that. I'll do with the owner. <laughs> the other type of structure, is it single family detached? Single family. Okay. And the approximate date you moved in? Uh, 2009. 2009, okay. And then, have you always lived in Blakely? No. Okay, we're, tell me how your family ended up in Blakely. My husband's job brought us here. Okay. And where did y'all come from? Uh, originally, we're from Bibb County. Mm -hmm. Then he was a pastor in Wilkinson County. Oh, okay. So you have family. Y'all were born and raised in Bibb County. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Generations? Uh, no, actually, both our families were born and raised in Twiggs County. And oh. And both moved to Bibb County when we were growing up. Oh, okay. And so, can you tell me a little bit about the kind of home that you live in? Is it um, three bedroom, two bath, the square footage? It is three bedroom, two bath. Okay. It is very small. Oh, uh, what's the square foot? Um... I don't know. But it's just you and your husband in there, right? It is, because okay. our, because our youngest child just went to college this year. Right. We, there were five of us who lived in the house originally. Oh, okay, okay. But, but, now, but now, and we still have two children who are in college. Right, okay. So there are only two of us at home. Yeah, and that square footage of that home is, what, 1000 or 1500 Oh, it's not 1500 It's probably 1200 1200 okay. Okay, and then is it vinyl, brick? Brick. All brick? Okay. And what type of roof do you have? Metal. Oh, nice. That don't deteriorate. Mm -mm. Right. <laughs> yes. Okay, and so have you ever invested in solar either on the rooftop of your home or your property as part of your business or program no. through your utility? No. Tell me why you do not have rooftop solar, and did you make that decision, or was it made for you? Our house is an older home, and, and oh. we've never, nobody's ever approached us about doing that. Okay. Just never a consideration. And so, if you had the option, would you put a rooftop solar on your home? I think it would depend on the cost. Okay, cost. Any other factors that might affect you from installing it? Uh, the house that we own sits in the middle of a pecan orchard. I don't know that there would be enough sunlight on the roof that it would really be beneficial. Oh, so the pecans block, it kind of covers mm -hmm. your house. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay, anything else that you think might be a factor? Maybe one? I don't think we would be opposed. Okay. If, if we felt it was, you know, worth the effort and the money and it was going to actually be productive. Okay. And then maybe getting some more knowledge about it would help too. Oh, okay. absolutely. All right. So I'd like to take our opportunity. I'm going to give you a map of the U.S. Okay. You have a pen right there. Okay. If you could check or um, put an X, a star on any states, any of the um, United States where you think people do put rooftop solars on their home. And this is not a, you know, a right or wrong answer. Just, you know, guess on where you think you've, or you've seen them, uh, where you think they're at. I really think it's probably all 50. Trying <laughs> to think those. Okay. Got it. You think? Yeah. I don't know. I think oh, it's probably fine. all the. Yes. Okay. Oh, wait. I'm in Florida. Yeah, go okay. ahead. It's okay. All right, so we have all the southern states. We have Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, and then we have Tennessee and Illinois, uh, Washington, Oregon, Nevada. Nevada, California, Arizona, and Colorado. So out of all those states, oh, we missed two. We got, oh, Wisconsin missed that one. So out of all those states, um, what makes that community so different from people in versus Blakely in the Cochran in Georgia area? Here, mm -hmm. Pennsylvania, New York, Massachusetts, oh, Rhode this. Island, mm -hmm. New Jersey, 
more urban. More urban. So in the northern rooftop. states? Mm -hmm. Northeast. Mm -hmm. Wisconsin and Illinois. Uh, I have seen solar panels in Illinois and Wisconsin. My daughter did an internship in Wisconsin, so we were there. And I saw homes with panels. Oh, do they get a lot of, because they have winter. They do have winter. So do they? But there's lots of open farmland. So oh, so there's no open, trees. Right. Not okay. As, I mean, not as many. Right. Um, these are more the environmental areas, Oregon and Washington, mm -hmm. Colorado. Those mm -hmm. are kind of the environmental people. Mm -hmm. And uh, California, Nevada, and Arizona, I'm just saying them because... Um, I don't know what word to use, not liberal, um, more environmentally conscious. Okay. And any other things you can think of with some of these oh, Hawaii states? and Alaska. I think that they have them probably in Alaska and Hawaii, again, for the same reason. Just more environmentally conscious, probably. Okay. In some states. Okay. Do you think some of these have um, anything... Like with the weather, they might have like anything consistent weather that you might see in some of those states that you chose. No, and I think you know, like Washington has very little sunlight right. rains all so, the time. But yeah. I think that they they will want to do their part. You know, they uh -huh. they'll say, "Oh, we'll put a solar panel," because that's the politically correct thing to say. And yeah, then, yeah. Okay. Any other things that you can think of of why they might have it versus? What makes them different from Blakely or why they might have some of it? I think there's more money in some of those states for those kinds of uh, alternative fuels. Okay. Okay, why do you think people here have the most solar on their rooftops in those states that you check? I think there's some tax incentives for some places. Okay. All right, anything else? I think that's the biggest. I think money is the big, the biggest motivator of it. Okay, money. Okay. All right. And so now, thank you for doing that one. Now we're going to look at the state of Georgia. So here's the map of the state of Georgia. And can you please put an X check or a star on any counties that you can think of that you've seen them? On um, the houses or? On the houses pair? or, in you know, fields. in the fields. Um, but we'll specify once we get to talking about okay. it, too. Okay, those are the only ones that I know about. Oh. Okay. All right, so the X's that you put, um, where have you, let's start with the rooftops. Have you seen any of those with rooftops on those X's? Um, in Bibb County, yes. Bibb County. Okay, where did you see that rooftop in Bibb? In a new subdivision, but I don't remember the name of the Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. So you've seen it in a new subdivision. Okay. And then anywhere else that you might have seen it? Rooftops, no. Okay, just Bibb County with the New set division. Mm -hmm. That was it. Okay. So what about the other places that you put an X? Where did you see those? In the fields. Kind of pants? In the fields? Mm -hmm. Okay. Farmland, you think? Yes. Okay. In fact, uh, yeah, all farmland. Okay. And do you, is there a lot of panels or just a few of them or there's acres of them? Uh, well, in Twiggs County, they've got the new Solar panel. I don't know that they're actually up and running yet, but that looks like a pretty big part. Then here in Bluffley County, we have Dr. Bill and hit the back of his field beside his doctor's office. He's got solar panels. Oh. So they they vary. At that doctor's office, is his is his electricity being ran off of that? I don't in know. his building? Oh, dang. I should have interviewed him, too. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, that's good. And then what makes these people that you put an X on those counties different from Blakely? As far as why they have those solar panels or just like with the state ones, do, do they have any type of... Uh, no, I think there's just available land. Okay. People looking for something that they can do with land that mm -hmm. doesn't involve cultivation. Okay. Anything else? Again, I think that there's there's tax incentives and okay. uh, grants and things like that. 
Which is why Dr. Bill has him at his office. Oh, he got his through a grant? I think so. Okay. Yeah. I've heard of that, too. Um, of some companies giving grants, some type of subsidy. Yeah. Uh, for Maybe it's not a grant. Maybe it's a subsidy. That's yeah. probably a better word. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and that's what a lot of people, I've heard some of them doing it. It was some type of initiative. I think, um, was it Obama when he was in office? They were real environmentalists and I think those initiatives were going through at that time right on um, you know those type of grant funding and they did get a tax break from what I was um, told with that so yeah if you can get that grant <laughs> get yeah, it right. installed um, that would be great do you think any, anything else that you can think of that these counties might have versus you know Blakely I think Bibb County has you know younger Contractors who are okay. more aware of that kind of thing. Okay. So maybe a little bit more knowledgeable. Mm-hmm. So do any of your close friends in this state have solar panel on their roof? No. no. And why do you think they don't? I think for the same reason we don't. I don't think anybody's ever said, hey, you want some solar panels? <laughs> <laughs> you know? We're not soliciting, but can we, do you want to yeah. hear about this? <laughs> I, I, I don't think it's something that you know, you don't see it advertised on television. George Power advertises. Yeah. You know, uh, Southern Company advertises. Right. I just don't think it's something that that we encounter very often. Right. Not that anybody is opposed, but... Right. But nobody's done any programming or set anything up in this county mm-hmm. to let y'all know, hey, there's another alternative to what you already currently have electricity-wise. Okay. And, and I think that people are concerned about cost, and mm-hmm. when you're building a new home, that's the, the most ideal time to do it. You're already, right. you know, you're already in up to your neck. Yeah. So, <laughs> so but, once you have a, an older home, people go, oh, it's not worth it. Right, because then you got to think about the structure of it, mm-hmm. and is it going to, somebody said something that I thought about, I didn't think about it, it was weight. Yeah. Is it going to hold my roof? Is it strong enough to hold it? Oh. You know, or should I put it on the ground and then somehow generate it, you know, to my house? So that makes sense, though. Anything else that you like to add? Not that I can think of. Okay.